One of the finest English debut albums of 1979 was by a woman who first recorded two years earlier on a 7-inch in a duet with her musical partner, Mike Paxman. I am talking about Judy Tsuki and the album Welcome to the Cruise. And I am going to play track four, one of the many highlights, but perhaps one of the foremost highlights, and actually one of the songs that appeared originally in, in an earlier recording on that 1977 single, the track These Are the Laws. <laughs> Okay, so far, just to fill you in, we're hearing the bass of Mo Foster and the guitar work of the ubiquitous Ray Russell, who also did strings and brass arrangements for this number. Uh, Ray Russell, um, a jazz player of the 60s who crossed over in the rock during the early 70s, um, had been um, in Running Man, um, Mouse, and Chopin, among others, and had recently done a fantastic solo album. And we've also got some members on this, I believe, from the uh, Tony Visconti uh, one-off, um, produced one-off um, from 77, Omaha Sheriff. <laughs> See, your heart that I give to me. Hmm, I wonder if that's correctly transcribed here. I don't want the world to see. You told me the truth. If I followed you, all the things I want would all come true. Hmm. Might she be talking about a cult leader? This being kind of a, the era of cult leaders. These are the laws that you These are the laws that you've made. I don't want to change your ways. These are the laws that you've made. I won't ever doubt the things that you say. I'm, I'm starting to get kind of a cultish vibe. Like she's following, like like the, the narrator is has become a follower of some cult religion or something that was around during, during the period. Listen to me, Listen to me when I said, by the rules you've made, I've been led. But every day that goes by, your loving touches me deep inside. Hmm, it sounds like one of, maybe one of those cult leaders who um, used, the, used his divinity, as it was, as, as an excuse to sleep with all of his female members. Notice that the double tracking. She, she's. I, I believe she's doubling herself up there. Like she, she's singing the words, but she's also harmonizing, say, saying the that that one line over and over again behind laws that you made. La, I, I, I love that. Those layers. <laughs> sustained the like open cadence. We, we had been like closed cadence this whole time, now we're going like open cadence. And... Sh 
shimmery strings right there. Of course, courtesy of the mighty Ray Russell. <laughs> Laws that you made, laws that you made, like really persistently under under her main vocal. That drop to C right there gives it gives it quite just a uh, like you're like like now she's just kind of like gone up into the clouds almost. And it's just an, is she fly is she fly soaring or kind of going in the free fall? We'll see. <laughs> Now it gets more danceable. Ray Russell's really taking this is this is now Ray's show. I'm hearing strings pile in, but I, I swear I was also hearing like a little bit of um, mandolin in there or something. Um, I'm thinking that would be perhaps the same guy that had played on the Omaha Sheriff because there, there was some of that on that album. <laughs> wonder what cult leader if this was about a cult leader or one of those those new those what was it called the human wellness movement of the 70s who knows it may, it may have been about um if, if if that's really what this was about it may have been about the the leader of est or the leader of that movement that mike oldfield joined for like a month or so that that movement that supposedly turned him from an introvert to an extrovert like that that one that way i guess it was like a british knockoff of est or something and he he married the leader's daughter for a couple of weeks um i don't think it would be about any of the american or well i don't think it would be about um i don't think it would be about oh mr guyana you know who um anyway um yeah judy tsuki these are the laws from the 1979 phenomenal um explosive debut album welcome to the cruise um played with um a number of notables from the jazz rock scene of the era um there are other tracks on the album that have appearances one, one has an appearance by um, Australian Ray, uh, Ray Worley, um, as well as a percussion by Morris Pert of Brand X. Um, 
another track on here has bass work by Roy Babington, a late era member of Soft Machine. Um, drums by Barry D. Souza. Yeah, this is like, this reads like a, a who's who of talent. Um, so anyway, and, and the start of a, a, of a wonderful run of albums for her released on the Rocket Record Company. So she had some friends in high places. In fact, this was recorded at Air Studios, I've read, um, simultaneous to when Kate Bush was in the studio, even though Kate Bush didn't have an album out that year. Um, I'm assuming maybe parts of this were recorded at the same time of Lionheart, which came out late in 78, so th that may have been more... Or maybe, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think the sessions crossed over with Never Forever. I'm thinking maybe she may have entered the studio when Lionheart was being. I, I've heard that 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 um, Kate Bush and Judy Tsuki were playing were recording in adjacent rooms, but that the two women were never introduced, and I and for whatever reason they didn't take the honor. Neither of them took the honor. Um, see the uh, the. J directory of the English albums directory uh, for more rubies and sapphires from Judy Tsuki. And until next time, this is Zaragon saying off.